Hello everyone and dividend investors. Today I'm going to be really talking to you about the top Canadian banks to purchase right now, but also a couple of strategies that I personally have when I go out and decide to buy some Canadian bank stocks. First off, there's six. There's Bank of Nova Scotia, BNS, there is CIBC, which is CM on the stock market, there is Royal Bank, which is RY, there is Toronto Dominion Bank, which is TD, BMO, which is BMO, and then National Bank, which is NA. Not not applicable, it's NA is whatever. Anyways, so, <laughs> anyways, that's what we're going to be looking at. Those are the six banks. Let's get down. I'm going to give you a couple of strategies that I use, but also give you a couple of my choices as to which ones are the best in the short term. So the first thing that I always want to look at is their P.E. ratio. This is the number right here that we will be looking at in this first strategy. And it's an interesting number to tell you the, the least. Basically because when it comes to the Canadian banks, you really want that number to be the lowest out of them all. So if we were to personally be just buying on P.E. ratio, right now we would be looking at TD because it has a 12 PE ratio and the rest of them are higher than that. So technically speaking, TD may be one of the better ones to purchase right now. Now, there are other strategies that I have, but if I was to pick three out of the top six, what I would be looking at right now is TD because it has a 12. Next is going to be BMO because it has a 12.6. And then we would be looking at CIBC because it has a 12.8. Now going from there, this is not the only strategy that I implement. There's a reason for that. I really want to look at a down day, a broad down day. And that is what we had on the stock market on Friday was a broadly down day. And now on a broadly down day, we want to look at the stocks that have been hit the hardest because generally speaking, the Canadian banks will all move in tandem with each other. But the largest percentage wise, the largest losses came from BMO, came from Royal Bank and came from Bank of Nova Scotia. Those are the largest losses. The smallest losses was CIBC and National Bank. So between those two strategies at this point, we have pretty well narrowed down that CIBC seems to be a pretty good pick. But there are more strategies than just that. There is also the fact of which one is closest to its 52 week high and which one's farthest away. So we currently have Bank of Nova Scotia at 74.40 and their, their 52 week high sorry, is 76.92. We have TD that is at 77 and their all time is 78. We have CIBC at 117, their all time or their 52 week I should say is 119. Royal Bank is at 108. And their 52 week is 113. BMO's at 103 and their 52 is at 108. And National Bank is at basically their 52 week high. So this is telling me that with that strategy, we would be still looking at Bank of Montreal, and then we would be looking at Royal Bank, and then with a close third, we would be looking at CIBC. As you can see, that CIBC is coming up quite often with this. However, I want to take it a step further, and that is looking at their earnings. Bank of Nova Scotia had good earnings. Bank of Canada had some pretty good earnings as well. I would put those two in the pretty good category. And then I would also have CIBC in the pretty good category as well. From there, we would have National Bank and I would have them in the good category. And then I would have Bank of Montreal in a fantastic greatest of all time quarter. And then I would have TD. Now you're probably saying, well, TD should be lumped in with these three guys because they had a pretty good quarter. But there was one thing that did kind of scare me about TD, and that was they did not have great U.S. earnings, while Bank of Montreal had fantastic U.S. earnings. And then there's even more strategies that I look at, and that is what are the CEOs saying and doing? Anybody who works from the companies, what are they doing? Well... All of the companies, they didn't really do all that much when it came to publicity, except for one. And that was national, uh, that was not National Bank, that was Scotiabank, Bank of Nova Scotia, BNS. 
their CEO went on BNN and then he said that they are a cheap stock, which we can see right here as the PE ratio, they are not a cheap stock. And two, that he wants to raise the dividend and also wants to do share buybacks, obviously once the Canadian government allows him to do so. This means that with share buybacks, that share price is going to artificially be pushed higher and with also the dividend potentially going higher as well, we're going to be looking at a possibly at least at this share price, a higher dividend. So what does this also tell us? Well, PE ratio will be affected if this company decides to grow bigger now, if he thinks, the CEO thinks that it's a cheap stock, this means that this share price is going to potentially go higher because it's going to have massive growth, similar to how National Bank had massive growth over the last 10 years. So right now, these are the three out of the six that I would be buying right now with these strategies that I just mentioned. I would be personally looking at CIBC and also Bank of Montreal. Those are two of my top decisions. However, because of what the CEO has said, and I believe that the CEO is the one who really has a lot of background information, I would normally be saying National Bank would be my next choice because of its past performance and the fact that its PE ratio is around the same as CIBC and Bank of Montreal. However, right now I'm saying, yes, these two are my biggest picks, but I would be also dabbling with Bank of Nova Scotia and National Bank. Even though I own a lot of TD shares, I'm not going to be selling any, but I probably will not be buying any more at this point in time, maybe in one to two months when I see that this price has either stagnated or gone lower or the PE ratio has gone lower as well. Now TD does have the lowest PE ratio when it comes to the big six banks. And this does become a factor as well. Now because of that, I would be still dabbling maybe occasionally with TD. But for me, it's still too close to its 52-week high for me to say this would be my top three pick. What I would say right now is CIBC, Bank of Montreal are tied for my number one. Bank of Nova Scotia and National Bank are tied for my number two. And TD is, of course, in third place because of that PE ratio. And, of course, I always like to get the cheapest banks because when, the, when people are hating a certain bank out of the six, it will eventually start growing again. And that is my strategy that I implement. Now you could implement it yourself, it's totally up to you. I just thought I would give you some information on how I pick the banks, and I'll see you guys in my next video.